Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Anna. <clears throat> this is the reading for Wednesday and Thursday, the 28th and the 29th. Okay, so I pulled five cards here. The three of swords followed by the eight of cups, followed by the moon, the death card, mm -hmm, and the eight of pentacles or the eight of coins. Okay, so we've got quite a variation of suits. You've got, you know, the swords and the cups and the, the pentacles. There's a, lots lots of stuff going on here. Okay? Anyhow, and then the dragon's pet. And we'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> okay. So, this card came up uh, Monday. And this was the, the three of swords. But here, that's a different context. So, you know, we're being asked to do something here. Um despite the disappointments or the issues that have gone in the past because we're going from past to present moving forward okay um this card is saying look yeah things have been tough they have been tough and a hard a little bit uh, hard to swallow okay but these circumstances have been occurring for a reason because these circumstances circumstances have set you up for to this eight of cups, the eight, the action, a, a, a card of action, of activity. And the action here is to walk away. And here you see the eight cups that are stacked, right? Now, <clears throat> it's, it's sort of like, I need to get away from this group. I need to get away from all of this. The social group, the group in general, something, you know, people... And you're headed up into the mountains. And headed up into the mountains, you don't know what you're going to face up there. And the mountains may seem ominous. Um, and, you know, here you go. You're on this journey. But you have to go. You have to turn away and go and move away. You have to move forward. There's a, there's a movement here, okay? There's a movement. Now, the moon card... Okay, it's telling me there are fears. So we're moving away, and here we see the, the Eight of Cups, the figure moving away into the, the moon card. It's the fear of the unknown, and that's what I, I get here. There is a fear, a, a, a fear of the unknown. And of course, you know, that can happen if, say, you know, your spouse loses their job, and then now you have to go and, and get the job and you we have to move or whatever and then you just don't know what is lying up ahead for you and fears begin to emerge okay so there's that fear the general fear of moving and the fear of the unknown however the death card believe it or not comes to the rescue and you're like what what are you talking about well the death card is saying um the fear of the unknown is something that you can literally, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still, you know, you can literally put to the rest. Now, what I find interesting here is, um, what do you see in common? Come on. We've got the moon with the two towers, and here we've got the sun rising with the two towers. So from when things have been dark and just... You know, not not very jazzy for you. Okay, unclear, uncertain. Believe it or not, this card says this ending, if you surrender to that ending, to this period, the sun will come up for you. And honestly, when I saw these two cards side by side, I didn't even look at all this happening over here. I just, I couldn't get my eyes off that sun in the background coming up between the two towers and the two towers you know mean there is a rite of passage it's just something it's a change there is a major change major change is a shift it's the road that we have to take we have to pass between the two towers and whether we know what lies ahead or not we just we have to do this we have to move on we have to take that passage and now what do you see here too the two mountains the two rocky mountains and the figure that's ready to go through this path that he or she doesn't know exactly where it's going to lead them. 
right? So there's a major theme of going into the unknown, the central theme being the fear of the unknown. So there's major fear. No, this is, yeah, this can be a card of deception. It's not a card of deception right now. I'm telling you, this is not, this does not indicate lies in this session. This is indicating fear, fear, fear of the unknown, okay? But the death card is saying that this will end and there is something coming up for you and it's on the horizon. The sun will rise, the new dawn. All right, now, now I'm sounding like like one of these big traditions, but anyway, right? but it's true. There is the new, the new dawn, and what happens when we, when we make our way, you know, through this path, down this path, we make our way, we make our way. What happens? Bam! This is what happens. Eight of Pentacles. Things are sunnier. We find ourselves established again. And we find ourselves being productive again, right? And this is telling me that the right action for you is to be productive. Okay, you need to move away from this dependency here, whether it's your emotions, okay, like your own emotional baggage, or people that become emotional baggage, you know, the people that are just really causing all of this in your life, you know? So you have to move away from that. There is no getting around it okay now another thing the fear you know, the fear of moving away the unknown right um <clears throat> the dragon's pet this card reads communication between species animal pets magical companions guardianship so overall through this process okay there is an energy of guardianship. You are not alone and you are protected. Whether you choose to believe it or not, you are protected. And I can tell you from my experience, when I first saw the Black Panther, not in my dreams, I have that in my blog, you can go into the blog and look up the Black Panther, blah, blah, blah. When I physically saw the Black Panther, you know, in my bedroom, in the, I'm like, what? And it was just like a glimpse, and it was a, it was a couple of days consecutive, and I freaked out the first time, and then I was like, okay, and then again, and, I, and then again, I'm like, oh, that's the Black Panther, <laughs> hello, and that's my guardian, you know. So you're whether you see or not or whatever, you have to you have to surrender. See again with this with this death card, you've got to surrender to a concept. You've got to surrender um, to a new teaching or a new way of seeing things, shifting your perspective. You've got to surrender. Sometimes when something freaks us out, it scares us. Something, you know, you see it dark and like, oh my God, I freaked out. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to see a shadow. I'm like, oh my God, what? But not every shadow is, you know, the end of the world, okay? And it's a natural reaction. We just have to surrender and feel it out and, and see what happens, okay? For example, I told you about one of the Black Panther black thing. I'm like, what the? Until I figured out what it was. <laughs> okay, so there's that fear, um, and we need we need to move away from that fear. But we are guarded, and there's that magical companion component here. That magical companion component that is guarding you. It's watching you. It's watching your back. All right. So that's all I have. I ran, how long did I, well, I try to make this shorter than the last one, <laughs> but that's what we have here. We're being forced into the unknown, and this is the only way that we are able to explore new territory and move on to a new period in our lives where we can be productive again, okay, where we can be employed, coins, money, employment, all right, so that is what's going on hope this has helped you and not confused you very much but I guess I could sit here for another half hour and jabber on and I don't want to do that because well my, my throat is kind of hurting <laughs> it hurts a bit yeah so but you know feel free to leave your comments and I will try to do my very very best to reply in a timely fashion okay and I appreciate your comments. Thank you so much for watching. And whatever the fear is, don't fear. The fear of the unknown, we all have that. To say I am 
fearless in that way. That's kind of a bunch, a load of shit. But we have to surrender. We're being nudged in that direction to surrender. That's what the death card is saying. And the, this this death card is bringing good news. It's bringing the new dawn. It's it's ending all of this. Okay, we're setting away those fears. We're cutting them away, and then we're moving forward. Now the figure of the Eight of Coins, who's chipping away at the old block here, faces away from all of this. It's like rite of passage, L you know, live and learn, moving forward, and that's what we need to do to be productive. Have a blessed next two days, and I will see you back here for the uh, for the weekend reading. Bye bye.